outside Wiley as well. Oh, the MBE. Yeah. Is it MBE or OBE? MBE. MBE. Did you see that thing Leaf or B just posted? Nah, yeah. not just. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Instagram. He says, um, he says, he's, you remember that that Wiley bar, your mum's got athlete's foot? <laughs> Leaf or B posted, oh, my mum just saw uh, Wiley get the MBE on TV. She goes, is that the guy who, t- who said I, I had athlete's foot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Yo, that is Joe. <laughs> yeah, that's different, man. Oh, I can't see it. That is different. Oh, yeah, mum saw why Lennon and he's getting everything. Is that the case? Yeah, man, but... Is that goals as an MC? What, MB? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, to be fair. I ain't really bothered about all that kind of stuff. Mm. Nah. If that stuff was ever to come, then, like... Just embrace it, Nick. Yo, can you hear me from from that distance? Yeah, but, um, but, but yeah, but I'm yeah. really too bothered about that. Though, that's cool. Big that's got Wiley for that though. It's big moves, but you can't see yourself with, with the, the OB with the NBA. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> take first by going. Walking in Palace and doing all that. Doing the joke that. is, that I feel like anyone would say that until you get the call though. No, this is what I'm saying. Like if if it comes to that, then no one's gonna say, "Oh no, I don't want that." Yeah, but, yeah. I think ten. I didn't skip to turn it down, or yeah, that just that's what that's what he said. I don't know. I yeah. don't know if he. If he... Nah, that's goals, man. Oh, well, actually, said. Speaking of Skepta, we seen the GQ cover with him and Naomi Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that goals? Uh, what with Naomi Campbell? Well, yeah, or yeah, just yeah. just with anyone? Nah, that's that's <laughs> another big move as well. Still, that's big, man. You know what it is? I think yeah. For Skepta, big goals. Mm. MC. On front of GQ. Mm. Yeah. Now, the papers are making it news, obviously, because she's like, now i Campbell, innit? But I'm like, yo, she just loves these young boy, yeah. yeah. What is that? She's, she's moving? Like 40, yeah, 47 she's, or something like that, innit? She's 47? I think I've seen 47, yeah. Yo, how old is Skepta? Like Mid 30s, late 30s. Yeah, like 34, 35. Mm. Yeah, man, she likes, young, she, she likes the young blood. So, is that a thing then? Yeah, two, actually. I doubt that. But probably you doubt gonna, it. I doubt it, but probably gonna run with it, innit? Nah, I think that's the thing, you know. I can't see his kept to. I can see his kept to getting in there. Yeah, I can see him getting in there. I can't see him staying there. Oh yeah, no, no, no. She got she got temper, ten, um, temper, temper in it. Yeah, she has to. Yeah. Skip, trying to get time for that. Did she like dash a phone at some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of her workers or something like that. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. I would well, GQ magazine then. GQ, you, you choose the girl. Is that is that is that goal? GQ is big. Yeah, it's big, man. Yeah, that is still. big. Goals. I, I'm I saying, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he goals. He loves these goals, yeah. <laughs> he loves <laughs> these goals. <laughs> now nah, you know what I'm saying, goals? I'll go to it a bit. But I love that bar in it. Um, 36 old, that was goals. Now, oh, I see, see. So okay, that, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, kind yeah. of segueing into the goals bits, though. God, like, I don't know. I don't know if everyone's gonna get that bar still. Yeah, big up, man. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't know if any, anyone has to be. No one ain't giving. No one has said nothing about that bar. Nah, you People know the bar? said they like the tune on that bar. Yeah, no. Nah, I, I just... That whole tune's kind of like that, though. The whole tune's just them kind of. The whole, the whole CD, the whole. <laughs> nah, that's, I just that's mean like them kind of like not cryptic, but that, double that... meaning bars like that. Goals mm. bar. That whole tune, I kind of tried to do like that. Like, there's not really, there's not really any bad words in there. Like, if I sent it to radio, that wouldn't have to get clean because everything's oh, just okay. like you know what i'm saying mm. oh, okay i get what you're saying i get what you're saying i get what you're saying but you always come with the punchlines though yeah, yeah, yeah. is that like a is that like, get that like you try for it or is it just come natural i think i, I do you know what i think it is i think it's just a re- like well it's a bit of a bit of everything i think mostly from the people i grew up listening to mm. and obviously learning online from gets. them and that that them kind of like people like what did you say gets online gets Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, oh yeah, he's been yes, fan. Now you know what it is, because nowadays, especially like me, I'm not really listening to too many lyrical artists anymore. Mm, like, yeah. remember when we were talking about like the sci high projects and that? Yeah. Well, you're we're not be... checking for them, or you're not hearing them, like you know. Nah, nah, I'm not even checking for them because yeah. a lot of the time now. If I'm not listening to like R and B, I'm just listening to like the turn up music and then they're yeah, yeah, yeah. no bars. It's all about the drums really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I actually do listen to like lyrical artists, the bars stick out like stick in my head a bit more because okay. there's not more there's not really much going on. So yeah. and especially the way like you the way you like structure your bars, it's like it's easy to catch them kind of thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so like yeah. the flow and that. 
The thing so, is now, <clears throat> as a as a lyrical MC, yeah, do you set out your way to say, I don't call in this tune, I'm going to be like storytelling or <coughs> is it just whatever comes? Or is it like punchlines and consistency with that? Or is there like a set format of like certain tunes you want to get in a project? Nah, you know what? It's literally whatever comes, you know. Mm. Like with, with literally every tune, like I just go through beats and it's just whatever catches me at the time. And obviously, depending on what kind of beat it is, will depend on like what direction I go. But it's, I never really have, unless I've got like little ideas that I thought of just while I'm like driving around or just yeah. doing other stuff. Mm. And then I'll like, unless I'm like, specifically go into that idea to try yeah. and get something out of it most of the time it's just i'll be playing beats and and something will catch me in a bar will like i'll just be going through beats and then the bar will you you know because yeah, 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 yeah like you'll just go through beats and then you'll catch one beat and then bars will just start coming to you coming and you're like, okay going. Yeah, 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 okay yeah. so let's see let's see where this leads now mm. you know what i'm saying and yeah, it for just me that was always a hard <clears> like as soon as you get that first bar yeah. everything else just comes yeah, but yeah, for me yeah. finding that first bar just or well, that first so, idea because sometimes it's not even the first bar like the first idea could end up being the last bar or you could end up scrapping it yeah, it just yeah. it just leads to something else yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying it's, it's just... like it's like um with the tune um the floor is lava yeah, yeah. i was like yo <laughs> when i saw that i best at laughing because i was like did you did you was it like did you get the idea from how did, how did you get the idea was it just from the social media and all that different stuff? yeah from all the stuff that was going on i was just thinking what how could you flip that yeah and then yeah. different little things just started coming here and there and then you just just piece them together in whichever way it came. I can't remember how I did it. It took me, it took me quite a while though. Still, like I had most of it done, but then there was, I think there was like the last like half of the tune. I just couldn't, but I, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Oh yeah, I couldn't work it out. But then I got it in the end. I think it took me about two weeks. Well, that's what I'm saying. What I tried to do with that tune was just make it like there's no, there's no swear words, no mm. profanities or nothing. It's but it's still referencing yeah all these different type of things you know what i'm saying yeah that's what that's what i think i struggled with near the end but do you think that 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 part of writing stops other artists from being able to like be played more mainstream or even more widespread oh what do you mean with all in terms of like, bad language yeah and yeah well you know what to be fair i hear bad language one extra ten yeah. in the morning. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. like, every day. Yeah, now and everyone's thinking, kind of talking it in it. What's going on? Certain things that they're not even bleeping them out. And I'm thinking, I don't know if you like just don't understand what, yeah, what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's like that's, back, that's a bit raw. It's like back in the day, as um, Dave Chappelle said it as well, isn't it? When Lil John and them was like, ah, ski, ski, yeah, ski, yeah, 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 yeah. One on the radio, yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. When it just that's, that's true, still exactly <laughs> like that. Man, a filtering through the air sensors and that. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other boy he said stuff. Dan, oh yeah, I like that um, Dana White one. Give Dana oh, White. Oh, on the same tune. Give yeah, Dana this White is what I'm saying. All them the kind games. of bars, are in, re really, they can run. Yeah. Like yeah. on radio and that. That's a sick one. Give, if you give Dana White, it could get locked in the cage. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know what, I should say that. I, I'll say this. You know, a lot of you bars, yeah, they're like. Like the real life, but like they're not even funny. But because the punch, the way the punchline comes, it's it like makes it funny. yeah, it's like okay, what was the other one? Like the high pitch, it like uh, um, which one? Who is this? Who is this bitch? You got cited with? Oh, the girl. I don't fucking eye witness. <laughs> 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 <It's funny. laughs> <laughs> like then what? What? Oh yeah, you could do it. Yeah, yeah, me and oh, Spock. Yeah, yeah. Me and Spock. He <laughs> was getting some jokes when we were doing that still. Because <laughs> the joke is just like obviously now. Don't you in that? It's not. <laughs> it's not fun at any time. But <laughs> it's a funny one. Yeah. And you put the high pitch voice in it as well. It's like, and there's a couple one like he said about um, <laughs> the plastic surgery. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I heard that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, rah. There's bad. There's bad bars in it like that. Like serious topics. Yeah. But the punchline makes it. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Witty. There's yeah, a lot of witty yeah, punchlines yeah, yeah, yeah. that make this that kind of flip the serious topics, isn't it? Nah, is that, that intentional? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get a lot. Of, like I said, that's just from like other artists that I've like learned from, learned how they do it, like how they bring like comedy kind of into their bars and that. And not even just from that. Like certain TV shows you watch and that they're about serious topics, but they flip it so yeah, yeah, it's it's comical. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not supposed to be, mm. you get me. And I just try and implement those kind of things. Not all the time, but if I get those kind of ideas. 
it makes it more accessible. Mm. Right. Especially when you're talking about certain topics, because if you just talk about them a certain way, it can come across maybe the wrong way or maybe yeah, a bit yeah, vulgar yeah. or something. So yeah, you yeah. have to. It's just like, like I said, like <laughs> even like comedians and that, you know, you're saying like Dave Chappelle, them kind of people, like mm. that's the way they do their jokes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's and like a serious of... topic, but they say it in a way, you shouldn't laugh, but you could do laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll just try and take from that and just obviously implement it into into lyrics. But that's good though, because it shows the thought process you actually go into, into yeah, your yeah. writing. You know what I'm saying? Now, some, <clears throat> it's, it, this is how I like, this is how I write lyricism, because there are some like MCs or whatever, or rappers or whatever, and what they say is just what they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You get me? Yeah. Now, it's just, some people are like, oh, they're sick. Da, da, da. It's like, but yeah, I get it, but it just means what it says. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else behind yeah. it. I had yeah. this conversation over there, and I'm not, I'm not trying to come for anyone, but it's like. <laughs> Watch nah. out, everyone. Yeah? <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, because someone was like, it's like Fredo's tape. And it's like, as much as I like the nah, tape. Fredo's hard, but... I know, but it's, it, it, it hasn't got, like, the punchlines or anything. Fred I'm not catching them. Nah. Yeah, but you know what it is. I, I yeah. think, I think, yeah, I, I think like, with Fredo, Fredo. He, Fredo's good. Is is just that he's still new. I feel like it's the credibility. Because think about it now. How long has he been emceeing for? I mean, rapping for? I don't think he has. You're in a bit. Long. How long have you been emceeing for? Like ten years. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but you I mean, like, grow with that. With that, your your writing ability and your 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 ability to put depth into your lyrics grows with time. Yeah. You see what I'm no, saying? I think Fredo's got that, man. I think he's got that, though, yeah. man. I think he, if anything, he's the only one who's really repping for them kind of bars now. Uh, really. Mm. There was someone else. There was another name I was saying as well. But it's like a lot a lot of the man them now, it kind of feels like a lot of people say to me, oh, it, nah, but it's, it's actually about what it's talking about. Yeah. And then the credibility I know that. gets them further yeah. than... Yeah. Because they ain't really... Not, the credibility really gets them further than the ability. Yeah, who's I thinking about now? I can't even I had a conversation with subs in the week and I brought up Fredo but it was someone else. Anyway, yeah, I feel like a lot of the time a lot of you're artists, not Fredo, Blood. No, like, I rate Fredo, but like that's what, that's what I'm saying, like I like Fredo, but I c I don't know if I'm gonna say is a is a sick rapper. Like rapping, putting bars together, putting punchlines, choruses and all that kind of stuff. You don't think? I didn't catch it. I, I just like his songs and I like the way he, I like his delivery if anything. Nah, he's got bars, same with same with Storms sometimes. It's like I don't feel like he's got like the best put together bars, okay. but he, he, the way he delivers it, yeah, is yeah, yeah. probably one of the best. You get me? Yeah. But then like, there's like, like gets like gets. some guys that you know the punchline chip chip's probably one of the best at it. I'd say like mm. like getting the witty punchlines and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Chip, like yeah. chip's good. Chip's got his own way as well. He's got his own thing, man. Mm. Like he ain't really like anyone else. Mm. His bars are just his. And, but the bars, that's, see, that's when I'd call it bars. Like, like I said, not to say Fredo, I wouldn't say Fredo's got bars. Yeah, I can't believe you're saying that. I think, <laughs> you know, <laughs> do you know why? Because lately I've been thinking, yo, when I've been listening to him, yeah, he's raw. I think he's one of the top geezer. So he reminds me of when I used to listen to gigs when I was younger. Yes. That, that's, when yes. I listen to yeah, him, yeah, I feel, yeah, yeah, I, get yeah, I get that old that. school feel. I get that still. Proper bars, I'll get that. you get me? You know, I get that. I get that authenticity. Yeah, but, See, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I. I think that was over there. And I was saying to Sub still about walking the park. I said, mm. uh, gigs, like, is sick. Is a sick rapper in that. But I wouldn't say gigs has got bars. I, 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 I never felt like gigs had bars. Nah, man, gigs. Like, I, you know, I think was it. I feel like I prefer Gunna D. I think it was Gunna. I'm thinking back in the day now. Gunna I feel D like was hard as well. I feel like Gunna D had the bars, like the punchlines and the. If I'm just thinking of memory anyway, but I remember thinking our uh, gigs ain't the hardest for the bars. So who would you say has got bars then? Wretch gets gold. The, the gold nah, but the thing is, you know what? Chip. I look at Wretch in a different scope to man. Mm. Because Fredo, yeah, fully authentic. And yeah, they're both maybe MCs, but I just I just view them differently. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not but saying like let's in compare. Lanes. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying let's compare Rich to Fredo. But I'm just talking in terms. No, I'm of, just mean yeah, just bars. In terms of bars, bars like, 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 like you, you, like there's thought behind the bars. Where I said I, I think like someone like Fredo will probably just rap about what they're living. What well, this what I'm saying like so much thought about making it a clever bar. Nah, fam. I, I maybe nah, I, I, fam. obviously maybe. Like I'm when I listen like, to him, yeah, I like I pick up certain things where I think are oh, I understand. 
how he made that then. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, I'm not, I would do. maybe I'm not catching it. Yeah, fam. Maybe I'm not catching it. <laughs> yeah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, um, Lucas, they're going to come for you now, yeah? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm ready for them. I've said this to Table's turn. Now you're getting me with it. It's just, that's what I'm saying. Table's turn is not something I'm going to listen to for bars. Mm. I'm going to listen to Sly High the Prince for bars. You know what I mean? Like... It's in the gym, to be fair. Like, there's different kind of rappers. In the gym, Fredo goes off. Still. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gym music still. Yeah, yeah. Fall it on it. For real. <laughs> who, hey, who's hey, that? So the Prince? Is that that American geezer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been yeah, hearing yeah. about him still. Bars, man. He's serious, you know. Um, yeah, to be honest, you can tell him more about So High still, because <laughs> I never really... <sighs> it's like... Just to make... Just to, Make it real quick. He's like um, some of some of the lyrics you must have, people heard from Kanye come from Sci High, and you've probably heard him before. But you don't realize it. And um, he's it's a case that in terms of American music, American music is just a different. It's, I think it's different, man. Mm-hmm. Like they're going a completely different like direction. Did you hear that? Um, I'm not going to play it because I know if I play it, the whole podcast is going to get took down. Because it came out yesterday. Did you hear that um, Jay Z, oh, Future, nah, nah, and Beyonce yeah, tune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Khaled. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. is it good? I heard it and I was like, I feel, you know, you're just trying too much, mm. too hard. That's what I heard. As soon as the tune started, that's what I thought, just of like Future's chorus. And I was like, yo. This is a lot. To be honest, yeah. that's how that's how I feel. Anytime I see a Khalid, Khalid's name or anything, though. I, I heard like Jay. Gonna, I heard Jay's Jay's bars were okay. Yeah, I don't know. But Beyonce, I think, was a bit not. <sighs> In my mind, yeah. She's a singer. Yeah. Yeah. But she's like spitting. Oh, she's spitting on it. <laughs> yeah, cut semi in it. Semi. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I, to, I like the tune. To be fair, I feel alright, man. Yeah. I was like. Yo, I saw a clip like a you know, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yo, is it? I pop, I didn't know what to think. I was, I was like, yo, is this too much? Like, is everyone is everyone trying to jump into this? Like, like a reach. Like yeah, she's reaching. Yeah, is she reaching? But trying to trying to match up to to Jay and match up to Future to be on that same level. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, I think, yo, you're good at what you you do. You know what I mean, well, it's the Khaled song though. I, when, I, true. when I see Khaled's name, I'm thinking, oh, these artists are going to be doing the most to make a hit. Because mm. yeah, you yeah, go to yeah. Khaled to make a hit, mm. so I, I'd prefer like a natural hit, something that's more. Yeah. You know what I mean? they, they do make them though, to be fair though. You can Yeah, oh, yeah they course. do yeah, make yeah, the hits. It's yeah, like, yeah. like the tunes ain't like they tried and failed. No, no, but you know the try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you get me yeah. like, it's not always like a um, seamless, seamless thing. Mm-hmm. So, what's your favourite song on Redemption? I don't know, you know. It's hard to say, man. How come no artist knows their favorite song? I don't know, cause like every time you make a tune, it just it's like a little, yeah, it's just a little piece of your life, isn't it? It's just a little like you jump in, you about to listen to Redemption now, yeah. You jump in your car. What's the first song you going to? You know what? To be fair, you know what I got to say as well. The track list was wrong as well, man. The they, do, they done me over when I uploaded it, yeah. You like it what? uploaded incorrect. So yeah. to me, I feel like people didn't take it in the way I intended for them yeah. to, cause the last tune was meant to be first and the last tune's got an like, intro on there oh, like a skip and okay. that was meant to be the first tune but it's the yeah. last tune you See, know what no, I'm saying I, I thought of that still because you posted the um, track list yeah. on the Insta story yeah, in it, yeah, and then yeah. it came out like this and I was like oh you decided to change it last minute mm-hmm. so but I, I didn't want to take it down and try to re-upload it I just mm-hmm. said you know what just... so 316 is the intro yeah that was gonna, that was the first tune I can't remember the whole track list now what it was meant to be but that was the first tune I can see 316 is the intro but even okay, even that though, the the whole lion thing. The, the lion, what? The lion skit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The start. Why, why did you put that? How how do you feel? No, I just liked it, man. Yeah, just, well, obviously just... it's got to be related to you somehow. Yeah, but it's it that kind of was like that was me saying all right then because he was saying in that skit um he was saying something about the lion if anyone's listening to it saying the lion just chilling yeah. like in the on the desert in the heat and that doing whatever yeah yeah everyone yeah. trying to mess with him whatever whatever and he's just basically he's just chilling he ain't done nothing yeah, he's for like, ages oh, his, his wife messes with him and yeah yeah he yeah. just chills and the hyenas start seeing it and the yeah. hyenas are like hold up the lion's getting stuff so yeah the, and the at the end trying it with him and at the end, like, he basically says, "Yo, he just has to." That makes sense. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, why did you put? Why did you feel that was relevant? For me, to you, that right? was just like because I'm saying, like, okay, we're in 2018 now. The last project I put out was at the end of 2016. Yeah, and then from there, prologue. Yeah, the prologue. From there, um, I got my own studio, 
And for the whole of 2017, I was just recording, didn't put out no music, really. I put out a few bits and bobs here and there. But even before 2016, I hadn't really been doing much. Like, after the after we'd been doing the Stay Fresh stuff and that kind of died down, yeah. I hadn't really been doing much of my own thing. I was just recording and that. And I hadn't been putting nothing out. So I hadn't really been, like, busy, you know what I'm saying, popping. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of saying, OK, then I've, I've been recording for this whole year. I've got all my music ready now. So now I need to just show everyone what I'm coming with, you know what I'm saying? So when I heard that thing, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. sick. That's going on the start of the project to stamp, like, the start of my year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, OK, so you wasn't saying, like, there's particular people coming at you. It was more oh, like, no, nah, it wasn't like shots oh, or okay. nothing like that. No, no, no. Okay, now I was like, oh, that's like a sly. Like oh, no, no, no. Oh, see, so he's still chilling then. <laughs> he's still chilling. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That project's out now. I've got another one on the way. Oh, sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put out some videos from this project first. Mm. I put the project out first to see, because I had a few ideas for videos in mind, but um, I just put the project out first and then... then looked at the feedback, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So from the feedback now, now I know what I'm going to shoot for. Yeah. I'm going to drop them. Can you say or? Uh, no, I'm not going to say uh, yet. Uh, but I'll, um, I'll put it out like, on my Twitter and my Insta and that. Yeah. But um, yeah, then we'll drop them. Then the pro Well, this <coughs> basically, I'll tell you now, because I ain't told no one this yet, but this project... Exclusive! If you see the cover, yeah, the cover's just an R in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, next, the next project is going to be another letter, and then there's going to be another letter. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to be the trilogy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we've got yeah, the yeah. next one, the next project coming, and then the next one after that, and then from the I've got more music anyway, so I'll just be dropping. Yeah, I'll just be yeah, dropping yeah, yeah. probably all year. That's you know what I'm saying? That's big. So what? All three. Well, this one came out January. So you think yeah. the other two are coming out this year as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, it's like the weekend, isn't it? What is that what the weekend, weekend they've been doing? Three mixed days oh, originally and not dropped to all House of Balloons and all yeah, that, yeah, them yeah, kind yeah. of things. House of Balloons Thursday and. Something else, something. Yeah, the weekend on it's sick as well, you know. When I look back, I wish I would have done that, you know. No one, no one knew his face for time, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, oh, wait. No one didn't know what he looked like. He didn't have no videos or nothing, blood. Oh, yeah, for, no, for time. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. Even, for time. Yeah, even, for time. Yeah, and I was thinking, you know, that would have been sick. Come out like first ever time mask or something. Like how my <laughs> man done it. And no one knows who you are. Just walk around on a normal day. No one don't know who you are, but you're popping. Videos and that. Oh, yeah. Everyone's in a mask now. Or the drillers and that. That's mm. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't think that's mad. No face, no case. <laughs> now, but like, everyone's in a mask now. Like, <laughs> Every, like everyone's in a mask. I think it's, it just baffs me. Because like, 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 I can see all like these crib sessions and that now. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's this group and everyone's in a mask. Yeah. What, does yeah, everyone yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, yeah. band it up and that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see the next group session, everyone's in masks. Yeah. I just don't know who anyone is. <laughs> <laughs> I know your voice, don't know your face. Yeah, like I was surprised to see um, Heady one did the, um, he did Fire in the Booth and he mm. didn't have a mask on or anything. Mm. Like, just to see that, I was like, right, okay, so not, not like everyone, not all the drillers have got masks. Oh, what, does he normally wear a mask? I no, 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 I, I don't know. I just know he's a driller. Like, oh, I've heard I see, his, see. His, his, his tunes and that. And I seen the Fire in the Booth and I was like, rah. Actual real life driller, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was a shock still. Actually, that that's really draw hard as well. Still, actually, you know what? Speaking of drill, yeah, I was meant to ask you this project now, yeah, you've got five drill tunes. Yo, do you not? You, but what do you call drill though? The beat, like the way that the beats, I don't class that as drill though. I, to, I, to me, I drill's got, the bar. I, I counted it, I was like, you got five drill beats and three trap tunes. You What's trap then? Ain't trap and drill the same? Nah. But then you spit in with the grind floor. See, I don't I don't get to see, me, I, I don't it, get all that. I was meant to ask it, was it intentional or was it just like I said, you heard nah. the beat and then you just Nah, I just got the beats, just got the beats and just vocal them. Yeah. But this is the thing, like this is this is why it's funny, yeah, because for years it's different now because like UK music's kind of just all one thing. Like, don't you feel like everything's just one mm. genre now? I was Even saying, though the, I was saying yeah. that, where everyone's like, nah, yeah. nah, that's not that. that. Yeah. I was saying it's all just under one category, and that's a bit yeah, short. We've just different styles, grind, in it. but everyone was saying that. Nah. But it's not though. No, 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 it's not. That's what I'm saying. Nah, like, there is, there is actually bare different avenues in that, but. But I remember before, like, Stay Fresh Days, we was meant to do a, a Stay Fresh Fire in the booth. Mm. And um, then we were saying, ah, oh, so what are we going to do? I don't even know if it was the Stay Fresh for in the brief times we were just talking about it in general. We were saying, oh, so what, what am I going to do? Grime or rap? Because mm -hmm. Fire in the Booth is more of a, a rap thing. Like this, Obviously, mm -hmm. this is, this is yeah, yeah. back in the day before everything was really popping. Yeah. And I'm saying, yo, what, what's the difference? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I can get a Migos tune, yeah, 
and spit all my grind bars on it. You can. So if I do that on Fire in the Booth, what's that? Is that rap or is, is that, that grime? No, but it's down to the beat though, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't. But say I I don't. So if my grind bars go on a rap tune, a Migos tune, was I rapping? If it's my grind bars that I've got on grime tunes. Technically, you'd be rapping with you. But so that means my grind bars are no longer grind bars because I'm on a different beat. Nah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's rap now, though, isn't it? It's not... Nah. But I think grime and drill, trap and all that kind of stuff, it's down to the beat. I'm saying you could drop a Migos tune on a grime set and no one will be off. But it's a, that's what I'm saying, but it's the flow. How are you going to flow over it? If you're going to drop the grime flow over the... No, but what I'm saying is it's the same tempos. So know, my grime bars are just like I'm spitting on a grime tune. But then you could drop a dance tune, a Calvin Harris tune on there, and then still speak grime bars over it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So grime anymore. if a Migos tune dropped in a set... Yeah. Is it, is that set now a rap set no. for those three minutes? Yeah, I hear that still. You know what no, I'm saying? It's an, it's an like a, <laughs> to me, to me, yeah, the difference is like the attitude. Cause like, all right, then you know Trey Mission. You heard the Trey Mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's Canadian, yeah, but it's like kind of an American kind of accent in it. Yeah, yeah. But he don't sound like rappers. He's like doing grime, That's and you can tell because the way the kind of bars that he's spitting. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying rather than just like the tempo of the beat he's on. Yeah, and there's there's quite a few actually American like um, rappers and MCs that. like doing yeah, like, yeah, like that. MCs. But like, I'm talking more the beats. But this I'm saying, but I don't feel like it's the beats. I, I think it comes that. down to. I hear both sides there. Like it's a whole, it's a different kind of attitude, like a different kind of way of bars. Like I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But then it's more than the beats. But same time to me, and if everything's just everything, man, it's just bars at the end of the day. It's just yeah, bars yeah, on yeah, beats. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so where do you feel like grime is now then, as a genre? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, um, it's leaning more towards that, what's it, is it called Afro Swing? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that's more of yeah. what's going what's on going now. On, yeah. Grime's still going on now, but that's more of like, where it's steered to, like, as grime came up and became more mainstream, mm. it's kind of gone more, that's more what you hear on radio now, yeah. isn't it? But then it's not, it's not grime, is it? This is what I'm saying to me, it's all the same. Yeah, I know, Everything's I know. just the same. I know, I know what you're saying. But then, I'm saying that because I've, I was saying that as well. I was the one saying that it's all the same, it's all grim, and people are like, nah, like, it's not. No, nah, but like, the thing is, you is know that, what? This it's is like, that, this is that everyone wants to be really. I look at. Um, there was one tune um, that Sub was just playing on his Insta story last night. And um, I can't remember the kid's name, but it was. Um, it was like the Afro swing. Mm. Now I look at that and I think, yo, is like the Afro thing. Yeah, it's popping and it's making a lot of movement forward. However, do you think the more traditional, like style of grime, and a bag of man just bam bars, 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 mm. is that being pushed to the side, or is it a case of We'll just work with this because this is what's this is what's popping at the minute. So we just gotta just get out and keep pushing that little yeah. envelope forward. Uh, I don't know because like them them guys who do that Afro swing stuff, there was never really grime really anyway. Yeah, was they? yeah, I don't think there's really much crossover. Like mm. the MCs are still MCing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The new rappers are still. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just feel like that that's the way that like this whole UK music like come up. That's the way it like kind of went. It come up and everyone was on about grime at first, mm. uh, but now it's kind of steered more into them kind of tunes. So, do you think for the future, grime? Unless well, it's a loaded question. But... The way the way man <laughs> getting the MBEs and GQs and all that, that's Brit what, awards and all that. That's mm. what I'm thinking because it's like I feel like it's becoming what rap was. It's just like ten years ten behind years or behind. whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what that's what it's like, yeah. isn't it? But the thing is, a lot of even Americans know that. American, even the way Americans know they the Americans see that. The the way that grime is pushing forward is it's content. It is traditional bars yeah. and lyricism. Whereas American music, like the mainstream of hip hop and rap over there, is just more music and like the wave and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I look at it and I think to myself, a lot of Americans, don't get me wrong, some of them are stubborn because they will block grime off just because it's not coming from Americans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas, you think it's still like that now? 
a lot of yeah, them are, you know. Right, yeah. Exactly. A lot of them are. Now, if they actually sat down and listened to it and listened to the bars, listened to the actual music, they'd, they'd appreciate it, really. But... Who do you mean rappers or, like, fat American fans? Both. Both, man. Because I saw, yeah, I saw... Um, I saw... I don't know if you saw it, Juice. I saw there was... An, someone did an interview with um, Charlemagne and he saw a clip of Akala... Wretch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Charlie Stuff. Yeah. Charlie Stuff, and he showed him, like... He showed a car like Wretch, and I think it was Kano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he and liked Wretch, mm. he liked Akala, but he didn't understand Kano. Yeah. Because of Kano's, like, delivery. Mm. And the the language that Kano uses is English. Mm. Oh, yeah, so he wasn't... So he didn't he get onto yeah, it, you see yeah. what I'm saying? And because I mean, of that, I think because of... Don't get me wrong, yeah, fair enough, Grime is, you know, it's, anyone can take the music, but realistically, there are certain things in Grime you would only understand if you're English. Yeah. You ain't going to get it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look yeah. at the reaction to... Perfect example, look at the reaction to More Life when Drake had bare UK yeah. artists in the thing, yeah. and it was like... Oh, yeah, these yeah. videos laughing at gigs verse like mm-hmm. and it's like it was half like partially just down to the accent you know what i mean not mm-hmm. understanding him and it's like what is he talking about christmas griff rap turkey yeah. you know, that kind of stuff and it's like not saying that's a that's a particular slang that gigs is using but that's just how we talk on over here like, it's like it's like in kano 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 always talks about having a cup of tea yeah in his yeah, yeah. yeah kano's very english though <laughs> yeah, he's man. very english he's though. very english and if you're not english you won't get it mm. so I think, in a way, we've got to... We understand why they won't... Some of them won't really take it on. But at the same time, they've got to be receptive and say, yo, it's still music at the same time. Yeah, I've got to yeah. try and open up minds and be open-minded to it the same way that the first time, like, say me, I'm old school, say me hearing Travis Scott or Young Thug. Yeah, yeah. Me thinking, who's this you? Yeah. <laughs> With yeah. this whiny, whiny voice. <laughs> yeah? Now... The same way we've got to be open-minded, the same way they've got to be open-minded to, to, to bring on, like, UK artists and UK music because at the end of the day, they may gain something. And, and one thing is it may try to start bring back the lyricism back into American music. Mm. You know what I mean? What did you think of Jay-Z's project? I liked it. It was deep. But it was adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, wasn't yeah. the wave. It was adult contemporary hip-hop. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was mature. At the end of the day, we got to look at, at and say, do I want to hear Jay talking about the stuff he was talking about, like big pimping? Mm. No, nah, because he ain't living that no more. Mm, mm. And that even that even that goes back to even what you're saying about Fredo. It's like <laughs> Fredo, <laughs> he he talks about what he was living. Now, Jay, he can't talk about. Yeah, yeah, he's got big cars. Mm. He can't talk about a bag of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that no more. Because people sit there saying, yo, fam, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on. You get me? Behave. It's like, oh, what's what's I want to say now? Do you remember, didn't Jay Z write like a Grime tune or something back in the day? Or when he was performing on stage? I feel like I heard. Yeah, they played the tune and he just spat over it. I can't remember what it was, though. Yeah, but a lot of, like, even then Twister, Leaf will be. Mm. A lot of them crossovers there. I feel like they didn't really do anything over there. In America? Yeah. Nah, not them times. Even look at the P. Diddy and Skepta thing. Yeah. That was big, but it's not, it wasn't like... Yeah. I don't know, man. But I think that's American mentality. Mm. They just don't want to... They just don't don't want want to. You know what I mean? Say we started making music like Travis Scott before America did. Would they accept it before they did? No? No. Because it's not coming from there. Not to knock Americans, but it's just real. You know, um, do you think that the digital age has kind of affected Graham in a bad way? No, I think... Now, there's obvious benefits, but I'm saying, do you think there's any any disadvantages to it? Uh, in what kind of way? You mean, like, like with music sales and stuff? Well, because, <clears throat> like, obviously the advantages being it's, it's, easy, it's more easily accessible than that kind of stuff, but I feel like maybe... When we all talk about back in the day, Graham, all four and that kind of stuff, and it was all like Bluetooth phones and that. Yeah. I feel like that kind of added to the essence of what Graham. Oh was. yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, it's, it's a so different like, place now, isn't it? 
it's again. A whole, like it's a whole different place now. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like it obviously it's, it's lost some of its grime essence. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. You that I mean? that original, like how it originally yeah. was. Yeah, I hear that. I hear Even that. Like sets. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I feel yeah. like you're not really gonna get many sets now, unless it's like for for, 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 for YouTube. Yeah. Back yeah, in the day, yeah. sets were sets, and man would just hold it up, head, head down into the mic. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, when there's a set, it's for the camera, and there's a it's a freestyle video. So yeah. I feel like the essence kind of gets lost. Uh, yeah, but I think it's it's made it more beneficial though, like for people to succeed and do and do stuff because um, now like you just what well, you make a you can make a song at home upload it onto whatever and earn from streams or whatever mm, straight I away i think i think that is um the that little aspect there is mad just yeah. because the the big label you don't need them no the internet mm. internet's the middleman the internet's the middleman and it's ma- when when all you'd used to hear is like, nah man, I wanna get signed, I wanna get signed, yeah, yeah, duh, duh, yeah. duh. and the person's waiting, 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 they never get the opportunity and they don't make no money. Whereas now, yo, make a tune, pops it pops, just get your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You no, know I'm saying you never know what can happen with any tune. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could put any tune on and you see how people just blow. Mm. But then I'm, okay, you know I'm, 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 I'm kinda of playing devil's advocate because it's like <laughs> Maybe now, maybe that's why people ain't making gram because because it's so easy to put a song out there and you're gonna chase the money kind of thing. You're gonna just chase what's hot. So rather than make that gram tune and actually make your bars hard and that kind of stuff, maybe people out there are gonna do that Afro swing thing. And, yeah, I hear that. You know what I mean? And I feel like I don't know. I'm just saying. Obviously, there's obvious. No, nah, people still doing gram now. Huh? People still doing gram now. I know. I think them not... Afro swing artists they were just they were just those kind of artists anyway. You think? They wasn't doing gram. It wasn't like grime artist. I suppose so. That's the point. That's the point. But okay, but maybe we're not getting more grime artists because of it. I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out there. I'm thinking. But Stay Fresh definitely like benefited from the digital age, innit? Uh that was that was kinda of before to be fair. What's Stay Fresh? From you obviously YouTube, but that was before like uh, like before, Spotify, Instagram, yeah, no, before, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 before like the whole streaming age. But YouTube, before yeah, the, definitely. Yeah, YouTube. No, no one was, no one was doing YouTube when we started. Mm-hmm. Well, the, I think, I think SBTV was active, but I hadn't, heard, I hadn't heard of him yet because I wasn't, I didn't really know anyone outside the walls when yeah, I first yeah. I like, joined Stay Fresh. I wasn't aware of what was going on really. Yeah, I think it was SBTV. Then you'd have there was one up here. Was it Flush? I don't think Flush had started yet. Oh, okay. Because I remember when, when I put out my first video, mm. the rating full video, we didn't even put it on YouTube, we just uploaded it to Facebook. Like, no one didn't care about YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Like, no one even thought. We uploaded this YouTube about a week later. We were yeah. just like, oh, let's see how many likes this gets on Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even, wasn't even a YouTube thing like that. But then after that, because cause of, um, of that video and what Desper had done with the Canon, Everyone wanted to work with Desper. Everyone wanted a video with the Canon. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And that just started off. All the media channels just started. Everyone was buying Canons. Yeah. I want to shoot videos now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I've got this media channel now. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And it just all stopped, just all popped off from there. It's mad. I think the Midlands benefited from it so much because before that, it wasn't really represented in it. Midlands. The Midlands. Um, there'd been spouts like TNG and that. TNG yeah. times and that. I remember what? TNG was in Rewind Mag. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. True, true. But well, I mean, okay, the up and coming artists then. The new guys. Because CND were probably a bit more established. I might be wrong. But when they were in V1 magazine, I felt like there was a bit. I, d- a, I don't a, know. A I just remember I used to see them at Youth Club, Macca and that. Yeah. Zio and that. And then they're, they're just in Rewind Mag doing all this other mag, all this other mag stuff. But the thing is, even then, for that to happen back then, it's, it's mad yet. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. Mm. Because. Because it's it's weird because the internet brings everything closer. Yeah. And yeah. seeing that happen then, it's like, yo, you're here, but you're yeah. in this book, fam. And it's like, yo, people are looking at you, yeah, and I'm talking to you right now. And <laughs> <laughs> it makes us, the joke is, yeah, it makes, it makes us sound so simple. But back then, it's like the idea of being in a magazine, the exposure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, Different. Yeah. It was Whereas big, now, anyone can put up a blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. This yeah. I'm saying. This I'm saying. It does have its benefits and its like yeah, downsides. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like then, like what you're saying now. Like kids coming up now, they will never feel grime the way we used to. Mm-hmm. Like because it's just yeah, yeah, di- what, the digital age. It's just a different. 
kind of thing. Like I remember what you said about Bluetooth. Man used to have the Skepta clips here, like sixteen seconds. Man was man was searching for the new Skepta clip. Yo, you got a new Skepta Bluetooth. And it, that, and, Bluetooth and it was literally like that was. That was grime. As yeah, much no as music the movie videos. Was. North man, I didn't even know what they looked like. I just, just had their tune. Holding the Walkman to the to the back window of the bus and playing yeah, the tune. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That was as much grime as the actual song was. Yeah. Just the way it was being distributed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So like, I feel like the whole how it's being distributed now is different. Same, same for hip hop as well in America because the whole streaming killed the mixtape yep. almost. And now when you got when. Your favorite artist does a mixtape. Yeah. It's not even I don't a think there's, there's not even mixtapes anymore. Well, it's just, it's just, just projects, projects and everything. Yeah. So that essence has been lost in hip hop as well. But hip hop's a, a bit, it's just a different monster. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I think it's strange just because the idea of the mixtape was you get like <clears throat> the label saying, "Yo, we want you to put this, this, and this out." Mm. Yeah, and then the mixtape's like, "Yo." This is what I want to put yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what that's exactly what it used to be. Yeah. Anyway. Like, this is too raw to go on an album. Too raw so. to go on an album. So this is the real me. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah, buy my album, but this is who I am and people this is when mixtapes were popping. Mm. Now you look at it now and because every you don't even hear the word mixtape really put around anymore and nah. it's just project project mm, this just mm. put it out ah uh, is EP. it and then, then, then EP, no, really. yeah and they say oh is it an album no 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 it's not an album yeah so is it oh, i was just 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 just, just a project just a project i put out now back in the day you think yo this is the real them yeah and like you anticipate the album and yeah you, like, you've got your mixtape coming you've yeah. got your album coming that was like that's what it's like some some artists you literally get the mixtape like a few months just before the album yeah, and when yeah. the album drops like boom yeah yeah but no, it's just weird, man. Mm. Yeah, different process, isn't it? Yeah, it's I never weird. really thought about it like that until now, you know, now you said that. It's weird, but, yeah. man. And back then, you put it, like, that one soft tune that would be an album. Yeah. You'd give it a blow because the mixtape was so hard. And yes, it, yeah. Just like, oh, that was the whole thing, in, like, you're going to give them the mixtape with the hard stuff. Yeah. yeah. So they can go and appreciate, appreciate it. Because the mixtape yeah. would be free, and then yeah. you go and yeah, buy the that's album. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's it's different, different world, man. Different world. So, what can happen with, with Stay Fresh? 